Hey everybody, Anya here at Our Gabled Home where I like to share tips for a simple, beautiful, healthy and sustainable living. In today's video, I want to show you how you can make butter with your own butter churner. This is a um, vintage item that I found on my grandparents' attic and we've used it before. Today I would like to show you how you can make your handmade butter. So here's my butter churner. And I'll open that up. Here's the wooden paddle with a hole in it. And then I use, I like to use this grass fit cream. Well, it's not grass fit cream, but it's cream from grass fit cows. I'm gonna add that to my butter churner. Let's see if we can get everything out cream in here. I like to go in and get as much as I can. And then for today's video, I'm just going to add a little bit of sour cream to it to um, add some good bacteria and a little bit of that taste the tangy taste of cultured to it. We'll close the lid. Now I have no idea how old this is, but since I found it in my grandparents' attic and I don't think they just bought it in the 70s, I have a feeling it's actually fairly old. And so here we go. Let me look at the clock here, what time it is, and let's get started. It's actually really fun to turn this because it turns really easily. At this point, about a few minutes in, you can see that the um, volume has actually increased because we're getting a lot of air in here. And this is a two liter container. Um, before the cream was to about up here because it was just about half of it and now it's gone up this much. So we'll continue turning it. Actually, we'll continue churning. Now the cream is already um, pretty nicely separating and um, it almost looks like little clouds. So at this point, we're just gonna keep on going. Now this is a beautiful moment. You can see that the um, fat is separating from the liquid that you can see that really well in the video. And at this point, we're just gonna keep on going until we have butter and the liquid separating from it, the buttermilk. So here it is. You can see we have the butter and you can see how we have the buttermilk separating from the solids. Really nice here. So at this point, we need to wash the buttermilk out of the butter because the buttermilk will make it more rancid and we want to squeeze out as much liquid as we can and wash out as much liquid as we can to make a very creamy butter and also butter that will last. We also know that this is done because it's pretty difficult to turn it, so which means that the butter is ready to be washed. Take the lid off and as you can see there's almost no more cream here on this paddle and we'll dump the butter and the buttermilk into this colander get everything out right. and now what we have here is butter on top and the buttermilk down below. So we'll just let that drip off a little bit and get as much buttermilk out. You can certainly drink the buttermilk. And now we'll watch the butter. I'm using filtered water here. Thank you. 
And now what we have to do is, again, squeeze out as much liquid as we Here's our beautiful homemade butter. Of course, you can always make your butter in a machine, in a kitchen um, processor, which will make the whole process a lot less tedious and faster. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel. You can also hop over to my blog at OurGabledHome.com, where I have more recipes and tips and I upload videos every week, so I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you so much for watching.